えー、と皆様どうもこんばんは。Good evening, everybody. そして、えー、久しぶりにニューヨークに、えー、ただいまというか戻ってまいりました。It is such a pleasure to return to New York City. 今日は、えー、これから私が尊敬する杉本さんと、えー、リキュとデュシャンということに関してお話をいたします。So tonight I'm with my our very respected friend Mr. Sugimoto will be speaking about、um, Rikyu and Marcel Duchamp. 私はまあ茶の湯を日頃やっている立場であり、まあ、利休というのは自分にとっては、えーまあ、ルーツでも、まあ、自分の直接の先祖でもありまた、えー、ルーツ、えー、自分にとってのまあ戻るべき原点でもあります。My practice is in way of tea, Japanese way of tea, and of course, Rikyu is my direct descendant, and also,、um, he is also my root, and I guess you, you could say he is my origin, point of return. そして、えー、杉本さんにとってはやはりデュシャンという人が、えー、杉本さん自身の創作のまあ原点というかやはりルーツになられると思います。And I think in the same way, Marcel Duchamp for Mr. Sugimoto is a point of return, an origin of, of his creations. えー、まあその、えー、約、えー、三百何十年の隔たりのある二人なんですが、えー、いろいろと面白い共通点があります。And these two figures, Duchamp and Rikyu,、um, they're over separated of over three hundred and so in a few decades of years of separation between these two figures, but there are very interesting similarities between these two. そのあたりを今日は2人で探っていければというふうに思っております。And, uh, are some of the we'll、be はい。はい。So thank you for coming to join tonight. So I speak English partially, but when I speak to Mr. Sen, I speak Japanese. So、uh, the interpreter will take over. Okay? <laughs> so,、uh, well, I, I've been living in New York City. Most of my adult life now, and now I've been acting as an artist, but I have two major mentors. So, the most influential artist for me is those two people, Martha Duchamp and Sen no Rikyu. And、uh, so, to, tonight we, we, we share, actually, we, we spend quite much time in, in Japan, and、uh, many people think that we are. The, the、uh, Manzai combi, <laughs> <laughs> comedian <laughs> couple. <laughs> And we joke each other, but、uh, tonight we stay serious. Okay? <laughs> 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 And、uh, I, I think those the two artists, you know,、mm-hmm. different ages, but different times, but to me they look alike very much. The, I think、uh, the, the Successful artists,、uh, they, they, they have always twisted minded. So there's no good person in the, the successful <laughs> artist. I guarantee I'm not that good person. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, I, ha- I, s- I can feel some kind of presence of a strong mind there. And so, do you think of the two? <笑> What do you think of the two? <笑>ね、非常にこう人が悪そうな<笑>人が悪い,<笑>人が悪い<笑>あのこの右側は利休の皆さん多分ひょっとしたら利休といって後ほど、まあえー、ご存知の姿も出てきますがこの利休の姿はあまり見慣れてない姿なんじゃないかなと思います。What I can say is that both、uh, Duchamp and Rikyu have this, some sort of a sinister expression to them. And、uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with、uh, Rikyu's portraits, but I think this figure of Rikyu is not so、um, known very widely. It's hard to believe that these are two portraits of the same person. 向かって右が多分利休というと、えー、ご存知の方はすぐイメージされる姿です。The right hand portrait, I'm sure, is the, the, port- the figure that you immediately think of when you hear the name r i k y u これは利休が亡くなって4年後に、えーまあ、有名な桃山時代の、えー、絵描きである長谷川東博が、えーまあ、利休の面影を忍んで、えー、描いた、えー、肖像画と言われています。The portrait on the right actually was、uh, drawn four years later、um, following、uh, Rikyu's death by the、uh, famous、uh, Momoyama period artist,、um, Hasegawa Tohaku. 
えー、ところがこの向かって左側先ほどから出てる画像ですけど、うん、これは実は利休の生前の姿、ま、陸がまだ生きてる間に描かれた、えー、非常に珍しい肖像画です。And on the left, the, the left portrait is extremely rare because it was still drawn, it was drawn while、uh, Riki was still alive. こちらも東博の筆とは言われてますが、まあ、こうやって見ると明らかに違う絵描きが描いた絵だなというふうに思います、ね、The one on the left is also、um, known to be penned by Tohaku, but as you can see, it's very different. So I suspect that these are drawn by two different artists. 亡くなって後の画像はいかにもこう静かな物静かなまあ成人というか茶人のイメージそのままの姿、うんうん、の理想化されちゃってますね。アイデアライズ。The、so、the, the right portrait as you can see is very quiet and serene, very distinguished of a tea master, so it's sort of idealized portrait of Riku.、うんうんうん、ちょっと戻りましょうかね。もう一回ディシャンとの比較のところまで行っちゃう。これね、はい、そうですね。うんで例えば肩幅も非常に大きくてですね、うん、ガタイがなんかしっかりした大男利休、うん、はまあ非常に大柄の男だったっていうんですけど、うん、なんかその利休の,の持ってたボリューム感っていうのも非常に出てるんで利休が持ってるこのセンスですねファンこう立ててるで,、ね、でデュシャンもパイプをこう立ててるそうなんですこのポーズが非常に共通する<笑>で,でもこのですね、うん And as you can see, uh, both uh, Riki was a very large man, and you can see that in their shoulders, and also Duchamp as well. And please、uh, look at their, the poses as well, the way they're holding their utensils. はい、あその前です個前で,す、うん、でこれ見ていただくと、うんえー、その先ほど扇子のことをおっしゃってましたけど、うん、この扇子の形持ち方というのが意外と重要で、うん、この上に立てるというのは何か非常にやっぱり強い意志を表しているような気がしますね。うんうん、でそれに対してこの下に下ろすというのはやっぱり非常にこう落ち着いたというか、うんうん、いや静かな印象になるこの持ち方一つで全然この二つの絵の絵から受ける人物の印象が変わってくると思います。And what's very important is the way he's holding the fan.、Um, on the left, he's holding it upright, which、uh, really conveys a very strong、um, sense of being. And、uh, when, it, when he's holding it horizontally, it's much more peaceful and serene.、Mm. でこの時代にその、うんうんまあ、いわば利休はまあ僧侶でも、まあ、権力者でもなく一回のまあいわば茶人であり商人なわけですけど、うん、この時代にそ,のそういった人物がですね生前に肖像画を残すってことは非常に珍しいんですね。And in addition to a tea master,、um, Riku was also a statesman and a tradesman, of course. But it was very rare for somebody like that to have their portrait drawn while they were still alive. ですから、よほどやはり、えー、そういう意味では自分の意思のはっきりした、まあ、いわば自己顕示欲の強い人物だったんじゃないかなというのが私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そういう意味では、私の一つの推論ですね。そう、リキュー、サーブとヒム。ああ、ウィドントークバットゴーデン。チャーシーツ、ビカイス、テクス、トゥーロングタイム。ああ、そう、レッツ、ショーダー、デムービー、ああ、ダンバイ、チャシガワラヒロシ、デセクション、オブ、デ、デ、ファースティン。まあ、リキューの、まあ、アーティストとしての、まあ、ある種の意地の悪さというか、大物語エピソードが出てくるので、ちょっと見ていただきたい。This episode shows the sinister side of Riku as an artist. He's preparing for his morning tea ceremony. Mikuni Rentaro, a Nihon no Mada Hyotek Nahai, Kyonen Nakunari Masta, Riku no Yakoya. Riku is portrayed by a Mikuni Rentaro, a very famous、uh, actor in Japan who passed away last year. So this is preparing a morning tea. Yeah. これはあのお湯を沸かす、まあ、ケトルにたまに水を入れているところですね。Mm -hmm. ヒデヨシは主に、イサムノグチとテシガラソフに捧げる。
that time, this is very rare plants, just imported from uh, Europe, I think. Caution. Hi. So it's Spanish. So he ordered to cut all the, the morning glory before uh, Hideyoshi arrives. And here he comes. <laughs> Um, in this film, Rikyu and Hideyoshi are portrayed very much as polar opposites. Um, in contrast to the quiet Rikyu, um, Hideyoshi is portrayed as very boisterous. This is a tiny entrance to the tea house, and then he found only one flower present at the Tokonoma. Ah, music by Takemitsu. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is it. So the way that they present the one flower, so it's, it's a very, very cynical mind that I think. Mm. So it really shows that how, how the sinister, a cynical um, side of Rikyu in this film, as you can see, um, Hideyoshi really wanted to see the morning glory, which was very rare. So an ordinary person would allow him to see it in the garden and have the tea ceremony there and outdoors, but not Rikyu. He wouldn't accept it in a straightforward fashion like that. まあ、ですか、こう意表を作るというか、まあ、いかにその相手の裏を書くかっていうことが、まあ、当時のまあ、一つの思考というか、まあ、ある意味の驚かせるっていうことが茶人にまあ求められる一つの技量だったと思います。
uh, the armory here, to park up in your armory. Mm. And then after this painting, he, he quit painting. And then he started making this kind of ready-made, it's called. It's a bicycle wheel. And uh, this is my photograph this year. That I photographed this uh, ready-made at the Mo uh, MoMA. And then this is a famous uh, uh, piece, uh, ready-made piece called Fountain. So he, he just uh, took uh, ordinary pieces and just called it the art. And then this is my collection. This is a Russian spacecraft uh, toy, toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I named it uh, the Space Fountain. <laughs> and it's been shown uh, at the, my Paris Tokyo show in Paris. Mm -hmm. It's just over last week. The, the one on the left is pee pee, and one on the right is poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> this is famous Raj grass. Mm -hmm. So I just go quick. And then I made a miniature Raj grass, uh, also photographing the Tokyo version of Raj grass. Mm -hmm. One side is negative, one side is positive. And then this is uh, all of a sudden, uh, let's talk about uh, Rikyu. これはリキュー以前ですね。まあリキューも若い頃からえまあ60歳ぐらいまではこういう古典的なこれはもう中国から伝わってきたまあ伝その時代の伝統的なチャドウの so Rikyu, um, when he was young, up until uh, he was uh, about 60 years old, um, he used to use a classical works like this that were imported from China. まあ、こういうものを信長や秀吉が非常に愛好して、え、中国から渡ってきた美術品としても非常に価値の高い。ま、誰が見ても美しいと分かるような、え、道具を、え、数を出来られて、え、お茶をもてなした。え、それがま、
それでいて単に物としての存在感だけでなくですね例えばこの赤楽でしたら、うんえー、この、まあ、形も非常に静かな形ですし厚木お願いしますその手に収めた時にはこの人間の皮膚と一体化する、うん、つまり器の存在が気になく消えていくような器をイメージしたと思われますね。And for this piece called Akaraku, what was important was not just the material presence, but also how it feels in your hands and how it feels against your skin. 逆にこの時代には先ほどの空物のようなものに意識がとらわれすぎていた、まあ、それに対して利休はえお茶というのはそうではないんだとえ器よりもその茶でありそこで人が交わるということにこそ重きが置かれるべきだということをまあ利休はそこで表現したかったのではないかとえ考えられています。So,、uh, while everybody,、uh, while、um, the rest of the world was so focused on the Chinese imported expensive pieces,、uh, I think what Riku wanted to emphasize was not, it's, it was it's not the importance of the materiality, but the tea and the people's presence. So, you can say this is contemporary art piece. So, you can say this is contemporary art piece. So, you can say this is contemporary art piece. 取引した実際に利休の頃にこういったものが高値で取引されていたというような記録も残っていますでそこには利休というのはまあ多分自分の立場それはつまり天下人に認められた存在であるっていう自分の立場も大いにその価値づけには利用していたというふうに考えられますね。So what's remarkable is that、um, against these classical pieces of established pieces, Riku brought these contemporary pieces and traded it and, and established it in a similar Similar value on the same stage, so that really speaks to the authority, the sense of authority that Rikyu had at the time. Rikyu was a dealer, so that the connoisseur was a dealer. So, the person who was a dealer was a dealer. So, of course,、uh, Rikyu was a dealer as well, a traceman. So,、um, he, he really established a value on, on, onto his aesthetic value. この現代ビースである新しい茶碗をワンミリオンだっていうふうに売るだからまあ利休っていうのは土地がというとラ,ラリーガゴージャンみたいな人、ね、<笑><笑>アーティストでありまあギャリストとかディーラーでもあるわけですね。そうですね。So, you can say that Rikyu is, in addition to being an artist, he was a gallerist as well because he could get established prices on these pieces, one million pieces. So, he, he placed a value on his own work. これはでもそんな茶碗の中にあってちょっと一風変わったこういう実験的なものも作っているっていうところもいかにもアーティスト的だなと思いますね。And how artistic of Rikyu that he made this such a piece like this, which was very experimental. ちなみにこれらの茶碗はまあ利休が作ったわけではなく、えー、まあ長次郎というまあ陶工がいました、うん、でもその人はもともと茶碗専門の作家ではなく、えー、まあ瓦のようなものも焼いていたんじゃないかと言われている、えー、まあ無名の陶工ですね。うんうん Rakyu Chojiro, he was, he was considered a tile maker in addition to being an, a sort of an unknown, an underappreciated artist. ただ、利休はその長次郎にも自分の手足となるようにいろいろ中オーダーをして自分の意に沿った茶碗を作らせていたようですね。And Riku collaborated very much with Chojiro and made sure that he, he implemented and actually actualized pieces that really adhered to his sense of aesthetic. これはスキップしてもいいそうですまあ、これはあのいわばまあ今までのちょっとおさらいとしてその中国のものから朝鮮のものそして日本のものまあしかもその見立てから創作え最初は茶碗の茶碗のその歴史的な変遷ですね日本における大体まあ200年ぐらい300年ぐらいの茶碗のえ流れを。まあえー、ビジュアル化したものですね。So this is a visualization of the 200 to about 300 years of Japanese history of ceramics coming from China to Korea and this idea of mitate that, that Riku introduced of reimagining, repurposing things to, to, and finally to, to completely producing something entirely new. いかにこう緊張感あるものから、まあ、手に馴染むものを作り上げてきたかというのが分かるかと。Yeah. And you can see how it, it evolved from this esteemed pieces to something that really fits in your hand and you can feel with your hands. This is considered the highest esteemed flower vase. 12世紀何そうに作られて日本にまあその1世紀後ぐらいに入ってきてまあ利休の時代に大変珍重されてたものまあ美術品としても価値の非常に高かった器ですね。
。それがあこれも古道の花生ですね、はい。これは実際に利休が持っていた伝承のあるまあ、うんうん、鶴のえ首の形に似ている鶴首の花生です。あ、uh, this actually resembles the neck of a crane. It's made of an ancient a copper. 利休が今の鶴首にね水だけを入れて花を生けたっていうその非常にコンセプチュアルな失礼をしたという伝説も残っていますね。And this is a very conceptual piece, and and Riku was known to pour water into this vessel and and plant a single flower. これに対して、えええー、これが利休の創作の花池ですね,ですね今度は実際に利休が手ずから、えー、竹を切って作ったと言われている、まあ、これは御城寺という、まあえーね、名前のついた3本残ってるわけですよねそうですね、えー、利休の新作 And this is called 御城寺 There are three of these left nowadays And this was when we enter the period of his creation He actually, a Rikyu actually created this out of bamboo 先ほどみたいな中国から渡ってきた、えー、高級な、えー、美術品として価値のあるような花入れを床の間にあげてた同じ場所にそこら辺に生えてた竹を切っただけのものをあ、えー、げたというとこれは朝取りの竹だったと言われてますね,、まあ、そうで,すねその場にあった竹、えー、ですからまあ価値としてはただほとんど無価値のものがさっきの、えー、その政治こういうものと同じものである同格であるとしてこれを使ったと。まあつまりそれは自分がまあその価値を作るプライスメーカーだという一つのまあ宣言でもある、ね。So and this it's very surprising that in the same space that used to where those expensive Chinese imported pieces used to adorn this type of pieces that Rikyu made replaced that space. So in that in that sense, Rikyu created values of his own. And this was a bamboo, a sagri bamboo that he just cut down、um, from nearby. So in terms of value, it's It's supposed to be free, but he was someone that established his own value. まあでも非常にねただ竹を切ったわけではなくやはりそこに非常に厳しい間合いというかえ形をよく吟味した非常に緊張感のあるあの節の取り方というのが非常に重要なで。But of course, he just didn't simply cut down a bamboo. There's a sense of purpose to an intention to the way he cut the shape of this piece. さっきのはまだ窓がありますけどこれは本当にもう切った竹のただの筒ですね。So as you can see, this is simply a tube of bamboo. ただ花を美しく見せるのには容器はそのシンプルな方がいいというこれは新しいある意味では近代的な感性なんですよねこれね。そうでしょうね。モダニズムですよね一種のね。I think this is a decidedly modernist sensibility to say that the receptacle should be simple in order to bring out the beauty of the flower. しかもまあ人工のものでなくね、花に対してやっぱり自然の竹を合わせるということもそうです、ね。また、これも、うんええ、これもファウンドオブジェクト、これはレディメイドそうですね、利休のまさにレディメイドですね。これはフィッシャーマンバスケット。フィッシャーマンですね。フィッシャーマンですね。あのフィッシャーマンのえー、カゴいわゆるビク、まあ、魚を取るカゴ、うん、それが形が美しいからといってもらいを受けて、うんまあ、花を生けて使ったという。Um, this is、uh, the fisherman's basket for him to store his catch of the day and Riki saw a beauty in this and used this to plant, to,、uh, plant flowers. しかしそれは考えようによるとです、ねうん、すみませんあの、うん、秀吉がさっきの古道や政治を床の間に置いて花を生けてる、うん、でもこれで十分なんだよと自分の、うん、今度秀吉が利休の茶席に呼ばれて床の間にこれが置いてあったらまあおちょくられてると思っても仕方がないわけですよね。うんうん<笑> So I think it connects back to、um, the, the, the footage that you saw with Hideyoshi, in which he thought it was he was being sort of tricked by seeing that single flower base in the, in the midst of the tea ceremony room. So it kind of connects back to this use of a very found object as a flower base. So d u c h a n got this, you know, to dan dan se benkyo koni bato. おいたのと同じぐらいのインパクトがあるわけですね。あったでしょうね。やはりそういう権威的なものに対するまあ意義申し立てということは当然意識の中にあったんじゃないかと思いますね。I think it really connects back to how Duchamp claimed a urinal to be an art piece. It had that same effect and impact on people. これがデュシャンの敏感装置ですね。ボトルボトルラックアバイデュシャン。Yes. これはあっとちょっと、そうです。I explain it.、Uh, this is a calligraphy written by Rikyu, right?、Yeah. And this is a, a 
the, the po kind of poem that he wrote about uh, uh, the commenting of Bod Bodhidharma, the, the founder of Zen, Zen Buddhism. And then, <clears throat> let me see. Well, there's a very famous uh, Dushan's uh, quote, Kotai wa nai naze no ba mondai ga nai karata. Huh. There's no solution because there is no problem. That's the very famous Dushan's quote. But this is very similar that DQ is uh, discussing. Hanshin Dharma Jimon Jito. This is a self questioning and answer about uh, body dharma. And he's any kakeru, what I was the returning uh, uh, song is Henka to te, you beki koto no areba koso, Henka senu koso, Henka nari keri, it's in this case. I want to talk to you to I translate this in English. Uh, picturing myself as Dharma, I ask myself, what is this? Nine years facing a wall. My answer is, no answer is my answer. <laughs> so that's very. The Dushan is there is no solution because there is no problems. So I, I think uh, uh, hmm. Dushan is, to me, it very sounds like uh, he, he was heavily influenced by Zen, Zen Buddhism. But uh, many times he's been asked, are you influenced by Zen? And he said, never. I never heard of Zen. But uh, he is lying, I think. <laughs> 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 because he's uh, the best pupil, John Cage is heavy. Yeah, yeah. He, he claimed himself that he owes a uh, lot to a Zen concept. So it's very clear to me that uh, Dushan is uh, influenced by Zen. まあ、利休に関しても禅とのつながりっていうのは当然もちろん深いわけで、ただあのよくまあ利休はそのお坊さんだと思われている。それはまあ正確には違うわけですね。So of course, uh, Rikyu has a very deep connection to Zen as well, and uh, Rikyu is uh, often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. Rikyu is often understood as a monk, but that's not necessarily true. 京都の南の山崎というところに現存しています。It still exists in Yamazaki, the south of Kyoto. これはまあそのにじり口というまあいわゆる茶室に入るために身をかがめて入る狭い入口。これも利休が始めたというふうに言われています。This is called the ni jiri kuchi, the very stooping small entrance to the tea room that a rikyu started. まあ開けるとこう中を覗くとこういうふうに茶室の世界が垣間見える。This is kind of peeping tom type setting where we discussing about it. And when you peer into the the door, the expanse of the tea room opens up before you. まあ船の入り口からヒントを得たとか、あるいは芝居小屋のまあいわゆる木戸ですよね。まあそういうところにヒントを得たともいうふうに言います。いずれにせよまあこの異界へ通じる入り口というような意味合いが非常にあるわけですね。So I think it is known that Rikyu got the hint at was inspired by the entrance of a ship or theater, and it's 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 a barrier to a different world. でこれは this is Martha Dushan's last piece that's been shown at the Philadelphia Museum, and the people have to really peek into this door. So and then what you see is this. So it's really, there's a, there's a similarity between uh, this yeah, system and then this system. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a similarity there, this act of peeking into a different world. あと、ジュシャンはあの、うん、確かあの扉の材とかも古材を
準備して、ね、レンガとかあの、うん、板とか全部古いものを用意してたと思いますね。うんうんうんうん、そうですね。まあ、実際に2畳とは言いながら比較的こうやって見るとスケールがやはり非常にあの実際の2畳っていうと狭いように感じますけどこう2人入っても意外とこうスケール感のある空間だということが実際に人が入った写真を見ていただくと分かるんじゃないかなと。I think in this photo you can see that it's quite roomy even with the two people even though the space is just equivalent to two mats of tatami. And then、uh, this is、uh, two years ago. I made an exact、uh, replica of this t i r e n and it's shown as a part of the architecture show. And I, I designed、uh, the roof, is only the replacement. Is,、uh, mm -hmm. I used the tin, tinted uh, uh, I, uh, plates. But the fence, fences, I use a 150 yen、uh, sweeper、mm -hmm. to make this.、Uh, <laughs> Uh, a Sugimoto style fence. <laughs> and then this is, uh, uh, it's, it's not finished yet. It, it, it is, clay wall hasn't been finished yet, but they placed this stone, this antique stone with moss garden. And、uh, this is、uh, famous in Nijiriguchi. And then stepping stone is uh, uh, used by optical quality glass. And it's very dangerous, it's very slippery. <laughs> 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 and then the, this antique stone, this is a part of the well, well, stone well, well uh, uh, stone used for well. And then we, yeah, we had a tea, tea party together <laughs> here. And we hung the, the letter of Senno Rikyu here, right,、yeah. to commemorate. The scroll by Rikyu? Yes. <laughs> And I made my uh, bamboo, uh, similar kind of bamboo hanaike flower vase, but uh, uh, this is, I found this. It actually looks like a bamboo shape, but it's、mm. actually it's a tin, tin made、uh, bamboo shape. Kim m e c h i k u Kim m e c h i k u So, uh, the, well, it's complicated, but the Dushan replaced the、uh, uh, old、uh, copper. Uh, bars to、uh, bamboo, but I, you, I make this bamboo look bars with、uh, copper again. <laughs> And it was, used to be used for the、uh, Sukiya house, the expensive house. This was used, made for the、uh, water, gara, the nantins, kakono, amadoi. Uh, so、yeah. Sort of the, recep the receiver of the water. The water receiver. That water receiver.、Yes. So that I am still praying with kind of Dushan Rikyu kind of mentality. <laughs> これは本家の、えー、タイアンの床の間に利休の竹の花入れをかけた、うんえーまあ、いわばこれが本家にな先ほどのね杉本、ねえー、さんの本家になるわけですね。うん And then this is the, the picture of the Taiyan with the actual the original、um, bamboo vase of Rikyu.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. これはね、壁がまだ終わってないのでこの狛いというか下地が見えてる状態ですね。Relocate when I finish、uh, Odawara Art Foundation, which was partially sponsored by Japan Society. But, you know, some Odawara no toti mo ne, Rikyu ni yukari no fukai. Yeah, this、uh, Odawara yeah, Foundation. Of course, the, re the region of Odawara,、uh, Odawara is also、um, connected to Rikyu as well. Yes.、Uh, this Odawara was a very famous spot that、uh, he, there was a record that the Rikyu made a tea house there. And then served for, for、uh, Hideyoshi when he was attacking the、uh, uh, famous Hojo clan.、Mm. So we, we will replace together this、uh, copy of、uh, Taiyan near、uh, where Rikyu settled his own tea house. So that's our future program. Yeah.、Mm. 
それは左が杉本さんのセッティングですね。そうですね。At the left is Mr. Sugimoto's setup. They are set backstage. I, I hung the 12th century uh, uh, Hokekyo scroll uh, mounted, mounting design is mine and mm. with my uh, bamboo-like uh, mm. flower vase. Usually, this, this is national treasure, so if you go visit, you, you cannot get inside, you just peek into that Nijiriguchi. Mm. But uh, this is a very, very rare occasion that we are able to yeah. make a tea inside. Mm. And then this is uh, the, the composition of uh, mm. uh, inside of this uh, Taiyan. And uh, to me, this is very, very well composed. Uh, very highly sensitively uh, composed uh, composition. And I, I thought this is very similar to the concept of uh, the design of a um, uh, famous uh, painter Mondrian. So uh, from here, I made a tea, tea house named mm. Mondrian because mm. the composition I, I borrowed from this to this. Mm. And uh, this is now. Uh, uh, being shown at the part of the Venice Biennale this year, uh, Venice Architecture Biennale. And then, of course, uh, I invited Mr. Sen to perform the tea. Let me go uh, just quick. This is a morning, morning mm. tea ceremony uh, prepared. So the lack of the roof enhances this, the, the strength of the composition and the lines. Uh, so this is uh, uh, built at the uh, island called uh, San, San Giorgio Maggiore Island, it's just across from the San Marco Square. Mm -hmm. And then this is a view from the tower. Mm -hmm. You see this uh, shallow pool and the tea house is floating on the, uh, the surface of the water. And it's interesting that uh, next to this tea house is a maize garden, typical Western garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very interesting. And then I made this uh, uh, passageway, Chaniwa, to, to, to get into this tea, tea, uh, tea house area. And then this is a cave. This uh, stone is local Venetian stone. Local it's stone. probably 18th century, 17th mm. century. But I made it like uh, Japanese. Mm. Yeah. I didn't have a budget to bring uh, all the Japanese stone. <laughs> 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 mm. And then this is a gate. And then as you get in, into it, then there's uh, the field with water uh, I'm using a Venetian uh, mosaic tile. And then the fencing is I borrowed the design from Ise Shinto Shrine, this uh, most inner the, uh, uh, fencing of uh, mm -hmm. Ise Shinto Shrine. And all the stone, th those uh, stepping stones from, from, from Japan. This is a Machiai waiting area. And uh, this is the view from inside. <clears throat> and then uh, many small, small garden, uh, as you enter and as you leave this site, every time you make a 90 degree uh, turn, then you see a new, new uh, uh, view of a new garden. So I'm, I'm using this probably 18th century, 17th century columns to be mm -hmm. a part, part of uh, my gardening. So uh, I, I use the ro local material to, to make it fit, to, to give some kind of Japanese accent. And uh, again, this is my 150 yen bam, <laughs> uh, bamboo sweeper fencing. Mm. So this is uh, uh, Mizuya, Mizuyaguchi. Mm. And then I uh, actually, you know, uh, conducting the, the placement of the yeah. stone. I do it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is sketches, early sketches. <clears throat> and then, th so this is the opening day that people watch the <laughs> tea ceremony from outside. So the guest enters, and this is Mr. Sen. Mm -hmm. 
How, how did you feel? Yeah. This time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Do do do. あの、不思議とガラスなので非常にこう、あの、開放的に見えるんですけれども、帰って外が見えるけど囲われているので、よりこう中に意識が緊張感というか集中力が高まるような不思議なスライでしたね。It's <笑> quite strange because it's made by glass, so you'd think it's completely exposed and freeing, but it's an enclosure, so my attention was really focused on what's going on inside. <笑>夏なのですごく暑かったです。<笑><笑> This utensil that you see here was quite an experimental piece that uh, Mr. Sugimoto created and I supervised. It's, a, it's the uh, OK, of, was made of OK bowl material, so it's heat retentive, so it gets quite hot inside. ここではそのテイスト客がこのガラスのチャスの中で振る舞う一連を外の客が見るというまあ一種のちょっと演劇的な空間が生まれるわけですね。But the steps of the tea ceremony are conducted in a way of the performing arts. しかし不思議とこう一体感が生まれて、あれだけ普段うるさいイタリア人がこの茶会が始まるとピタッと黙ってこの茶会の一例に集中して見てくれたというのは非常にまあ嬉しい。シーンとしましたね。始まる前はガ
I found myself to do it. Let's try to make my own table at, in, at the Murano uh, grass factory. So this is my sample mm -hmm. that I made a tea tea ball there. And this is a white uh, type, and then this is a... Uh, well, Shosoin type. Yeah, this, I, I made a copy of a very famous Shosoin uh, treasure. And the Sasanian, Sasanian Persian made uh, the 7th centuries, came to Japan all the way through the Silk Road. And then, uh, I, I, I'm having that in my mind and trying to make a copy, and I think I can, I can very well fake it up. So from here, this is the last session probably. Yeah. We don't have much time left. But, mm. uh, uh, I made a, uh, my, within my New York studio, I made my own TT uh, room. Uh, and then this is entrance, uh, the old stone, and I, I made a, uh, the calligraphy. Uh, done by myself. It's uh, called, titled, Im Ima Meido is uh, uh, the name of the, the tea house. It's very hard to translate, but I usually translate it as uh, uh, heavenly hell. Heavenly hell. <laughs> because it's in New York, it's facing a financial district. And uh, this, <laughs> this is, can be uh, either hell or heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, go up the stairs, and then you see some uh, moss garden, and this is a view of mm -hmm. the tea house, uh, four and a half tatami size. And as a hanging scroll, there's an uh, Eroswas Kerry prince is being hung there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you, I can close the shoji screen, and it's beautiful filtered lights mm -hmm. coming from the financial district area. <laughs> <laughs> you can meditate here, yeah. and if you can meditate enough, then you will get really uh, get enlightened here. <laughs> um, the, this is the Robuchi is, is used by uh, eighth century Tempio Kozai, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a very simple, but it's still yet it's it's. Uh, uh, consulted by, of course, Mr. Sen. And so, well, any comment on this? Yeah. この I think with this tea room, what Mr. Sugimoto wanted to convey was a different way that the Japanese people and Western people look at art, and I think he really wanted to convey that to the New York um, art lovers and appreciators of art. And this alcove, the Tokonoma, is of, spe of special focus as well. Tokono Markov is very important in the Japanese yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. And it was, well, probably the history of 400 years, mm -hmm. Senrikyu time, or even Rikyu, before. Yeah, yeah. Right. Romach period. Romach period, mm. 15, 14, 15th century. Yeah, yeah. Right? So even you are rich and famous and a great collector, you have hundreds of art pieces in your <laughs> storage. And in New York, I often uh, being invited to the collector's house, and then what I see is all the collection hanging everywhere in the wall. <laughs> and that for, from a Japanese sensitivity, that, this is very bad taste. <laughs> 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 I have Picasso and Brancusi and then you know, Andy Moho. You shouldn't show everything what you see, what you have. <laughs> in Japanese mentality, even you have many, you just choose one particular important art for the special guest for only for today. So, so well, this is the, the occasion that I hung the as far as carry, but the next day, even you have the same, well, when you have the same guest, a year later, you should have a record and you shouldn't show the same art piece to the same person. So mm -hmm. that's the kind of sensitivity and mentality of Japanese aesthetics and how to see the art in the proper way mm -hmm. and how to treat your guest in the proper way. 
And tea ceremony, you, you, the, having a tea to share with a guest, is that's the key, key point, I think. Mm -hmm. So how you treat and entertain your guest. ところまというのはですから、おそらくま世界でも最も古いアートを鑑賞するための専用の空間というふうに言えるかもしれません。So I guess you could say this Tokonoma Alke is a place that is very an ancient space, a special place for you to exhibit art. これはあの、famous chocolate grind the painting sketches. So this is the uh, entrance to the Mizia area in my TT house and when you when you open the sliding door what you see is this Duchan oriented uh, 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 noren the banner. Noren curtain. Uh, was uh, uh, made by silk in Kyoto craftsmen, highly crafted. It was very difficult to explain what this painting was for the Kyoto craftsmen people. Mm. <laughs> so um, I think what the, the time, time-wise, so this is the end of the uh, the images. Okay. Yes. I want to question and answer. Question. Okay. <laughs> so now we take a question and answer. Mm. Yeah. どうぞ。ああ、え、サモン。イエス。プリーズ。イエス、サンキューワズワンダフルプレゼンテーション。ユメンションダットデイズゴイングトゥビアナザーティーセレモニーインベネスキンドゥユノーデデイトインアクトー
Well, generally speaking, it's actually made of earth and clay, and it is it is a burned and it is baked in um, a, a wooden kiln. 形は2つあります。ろくろで引くタイプと、えー、ろくろでこう遠心力で回して引いて作るタイプと、えー、楽茶碗なんかは手づくねといって手で,こう手,でこう手の形で作っていきますね。Yes, there's two ways. コイルじゃないよね。ね違いますね。It's not so much of a coil, but it is, it is, it is a way to use a sort of a tool, but it's also hand molded as well, so two ways. 土の塊をこう指で、あの、わの形に作り上げていきますね。そういう、take a lump of earth and you use your hand to mold it into the shape。あるいは、土の塊から、こう刃物で、こう中をえぐり取って削っていく場合もあります、ね。And in other case, you use a knife to sort of dig out the inside of the the lump of earth to create the shape。okay。ですか。あ、any other question。山口<笑>えー、日本語で聞きますけども、はい、デュシャンが利休の茶会に呼ばれたらどうなると思いますか The question was, what do you think will happen if、uh, Duchamp was invited over to r i k u s tea ceremony, tea party? Probably, if r i k u knew that Duchamp is coming, he would probably specially made a、uh, Uh, toilet bowl shape, T T ball. どうですかね。どうですかね。にじり口に穴を開けて覗かせるんじゃないですか。Perhaps he will create a two peering peeping holes for him to look into the inside of the tea room. 中の様子は想像に任せます。And、uh, I will leave it up to your imagination of what Duchamp will see inside. <笑> <laughs> Maybe n a m e next to lady. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs>、uh, please. <clears throat>、um, you may have mentioned this, but I was wondering if you have, if you have in mind、um, a future photograph series. Like I know you've done theaters and various, if you're going to go back to that, and if、mm -hmm. you two have any、um, plans on、oh, no. um, collaborating in future. Uh, you mean a collaboration with my photography? Sometimes I make uh, uh, my, my photography mounted as a scroll and it can be used、mm -hmm. for tea ceremony.、Yeah. Especially my, my seascapes as a mounted as a hanging scroll. It's particularly、uh, suitable for the tea ceremony occasion. But, uh, well, uh, we, 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 we co coordinate many, many, many、uh, strange tea ceremonies. So we are breaking, <laughs> we, in the future, we are trying to break the rules of、uh, standard tea ceremony. And what the DQ said that, well, don't, don't copy me. So, if you are the tea, 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 tea person, you have to create your own aesthetics and styles. So, the r i k u s pupils, there's the seven famous pupils, like including Oribe that we, we discussed,、mm -hmm. he created his own, own design that's very different from、uh, r i k u s style. So,、uh, well, the, the tea school that the people h a s to study by, by masters, but、uh, Shouldn't copy the same style. You have to, when, when you come to the certain level, you have to create your own aesthetics, which is very difficult. So、mm. uh, that's something we're going to, to do together in the future. <clears throat> okay?、Uh, please. I am I'm kind of shocked.、Hmm? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. You're shocked. <laughs> マイクロフォン、プリーズ、マイクロフォン。あ、no no。プリプリーズ、ギブマイクロフォンと the lady。Yes here。Thank you, thank you so much. I'm actually pretty shocked because I think both of you have um, um, touched the area of tea that is kind of sacred. You know, we don't go near there.、Uh -huh. so、I've been doing for for a long time since I was a child and. And、um, 
I am just, a, I've never heard um, any kind of a story like this you know, in a public way. Mm -hmm. And I, I find it so refreshing mm -hmm. uh, to finally, somebody has the audacity to come mm -hmm. out and say something like this because um, <laughs> when, when we are, t uh, mm -hmm. are learning tea, you know, uh, I mm -hmm. have heard from my instructors that when you go through the Nijiriguchi, you are actually going back into your mother's womb, uh -huh. right? I mean, mm. I always thought, my God, that, that's really kind of um, mm -hmm. feminist and sexual, and I always thought that was kind oh. of a um, mm -hmm. in very interesting thought process. Mm -hmm. and, and now that you have, both of you have come out and kind of mm -hmm. opened this up, mm -hmm. what do you think will happen to the future? I mean, ああ、海外に出てきて、いろいろな、あ、まあね、あの、お茶はわびさび、和系生着って、そういう臨済のちょっと3、it's all the time. So, uh, well, Rikyu's wabi-sabi sense uh, has been established as kind of a code of tea test ceremony now, but uh, I think it's, uh, that the, the way they treat the, the guests and people, uh, well, it's, it's been 400 years that the uh, time, the society changes, so there should be a, the new way to, to, to treat mm -hmm. your guests. To sometimes it's a radical change might be always welcome. That 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 the DQ radically changed the aesthetic that the, and then also the, how to treat the, the people. So there's no no rules at all to me. どうですかね、and uh, yes, I, I agree with Mr. Sugimoto. And uh, fundamentally, um, the tea, the way of tea, is an act, a human act, and it's a historical act as well. So it's in influenced by the time and the surrounding atmosphere of the time. So it, it, it changes the way it is perceived. And I think the way of being in, in its time and place is, it changes, it evolves constantly. <laughs> So after you reach a certain level, you shouldn't do what you shouldn't just follow what your master is teaching you to do. It is clearly written in the documents that you shouldn't be like, you shouldn't resemble your master. After you reach a certain level, you have to form your own aesthetics, you have to be your own artist. I think this formula, this, this a foundation exists so that you can enhance your own uniqueness, your own originality. Last question. Yes. Hello? Hi. <laughs> so, um, going off on that, I was wondering if in this process of modernizing tea ceremony, which seems kind of inseparable from tradition. Do you ever worry about the preservation, the conservation of tradition? Mm -hmm. And also, um, do you ever consider maybe bringing in a younger generation and ap mm -hmm. appealing to them, as well as the Western and like the, mm -hmm. the outside? The mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I I'm feeling, feel, feel myself, I'm quite a traditionally oriented uh, the person. So uh, not mm -hmm. changing the tradition is not the issue. I think uh, the tradition is not the form. It just, just lives in my heart and mind. So uh, 
For example, they said uh, Marcel Duchamp's banner as a Noren is quite uh, contemporary at yet. This is a traditional form. So uh, art should be key, keep changing to be, to be uh, welcome to the, the society of that time. So uh, this is a kind of balance that you have to get the sense of the tradition and then how to, to reform it to, to be fitted to the modern society. That's, that's the, I think, important issue. I agree with you, but at the same time, I have no um, intention to do something new. I guess you can say that I'm not doing this to do something new. But I always constantly question what would have uh, what would Rikyu have done if he was alive today? Mm. And of course that Rikyu as we uh, observed today um, instilled a contemporary element to the to, to this a traditional time that he lived in. So naturally, uh, it gravitates me to wondering how tea and the practice of tea changes to adapt to, the, to, to this current times. I And just like Mr. Sugimoto, I consider myself a devotee of tradition. And I think you can also say that about Duchamp and Rikyu. Duchamp and Rikyu are at a level of learning. Of course, Duchamp and Rikyu thoroughly, thoroughly studied at the, the foundation, the tradition, before until they reached a certain level. And I think both Duchamp and Enrique were, people, were two figures who really called, who, who were inspired by the foundation in terms of form and methodology. But when it came to outputting their own creativity, they were really very much inspired by what was alive at their time, their contemporary times. So when it comes to using tradition, you always have to question yourself, what is tradition pointing towards? I think all tradition is contemporary. えっと、16代目ですね。15代目。はい、15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代目。15代